into tomorrow morning. So essentially what happened is we don't have as much moisture in the atmosphere that is going to allow our temperatures to cool without all that extra moisture. We don't have as much cloud cover and drier air can cool and warm more quickly than moist air. So we are pretty chilly this morning in some spots 64 at least compared to the past couple of days 64 in Warner Robins 63 in Macon 68 in Gordon 63 in Thomaston still a little bit warmer if you are south of Macon's so our southernmost county still in the upper 60s and low 70s. You're closer to that front, closer to where that moisture is locked in. But we are waking up considerably cooler. In fact, upwards of 10 to 11 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. That, of course, is all behind a cold front. This was a second one that pushed through yesterday. Just a weak cold front brought us a little bit of a breeze yesterday and is now reinforcing that northerly wind that is going to pull in that drier and cooler air. High pressure filtering in behind it. That's going to give us a lot of sunshine today. Temperatures will only climb to the upper 80s and low 90s rather than the mid to upper 90s today. So enjoy it, especially with that drier air in place. As we head through the overnight low to mid 60s, it'll be a very comfortable start to tomorrow as well. And we'll keep our nice pattern going for the day tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies again, low humidity and low 90s. So overall, a great looking weather setup as we head through the rest of this work week. However, that will quickly change as we head into the weekend. All eyes are going to be on the tropics, so let's get right on to it. Still watching this disturbance over towards the Bay. Campeche hasn't moved very much at all, and it has a 90% chance of development over the next five days. So it is likely that this will form into a tropical depression as we head towards the end of the week. It is possible that it becomes tropical storm Claudette before it makes landfall somewhere along the Gulf Coast. But let's talk about where this could go because that's the most important part for our forecast, right? High pressure is in control today. That's going to bring us that cooler and drier air behind that front. But this is going to play a very key role in where this storm is going to steer itself. As we head into Friday, the way high pressure rotates, that clockwise spin there, it's actually going to keep this storm off to the west and steer it out towards the Houston, Texas area. That is where the European model is hinting that it will make a landfall somewhere between Texas Texas and Louisiana. All that heavy rain that you typically find in the northeast quadrant of these storms going to move onshore across the Gulf Coast as we head into Saturday. Come Sunday, that's when we could start to get the outermost impacts of this storm. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms. The wind will also more than likely pick up. That humidity will be very high on Sunday as well. Now notice we do have a cold front. That's going to help push this off towards the east. But it does look like the Euro keeps the bulk of this system, meaning the rain and the wind and any kind of greater Severe threat that looks to stay to the north if the euro comes together. The GFS actually has this falling apart a good bit, so it looks like right now we're looking at a Sunday Monday time frame and we could pick up about a half an inch to an inch of rain locally heavy amounts. Enjoy the beautiful weather through the end of the week, then we will have all eyes on the tropics as we head into the weekend and start of next week.